Hello, and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. I am here to make a video about why you should not listen to Elon Musk, Mark Cuban, Warren Buffett, or any of these big financial guys for your crypto decisions, because people seem to think that they're infallible and they always make good decisions. Like, you know, Warren Buffett, he is the Oracle of Omaha. Because he is an Oracle, he always gets things right. No, he actually thinks Bitcoin is a rat poison square. And he said that several years ago. And obviously, Bitcoin has grown many, many, many times over. Elon Musk, he thought actually like basically trolling Bitcoin and cryptocurrency would actually improve his popularity and basically um, make him even more popular with people. It hasn't. It just has made the entire crypto community hate him. And I think like it's take, his reputation has taken a hit. Not that he really cares all that much. So he was wrong about that. And lately, Mark Cuban basically completely got rug pulled by Titan. So he claimed he lost millions of dollars. <clears throat> and one of the guys, Mr. Whale, on uh, Twitter said, the coin was fully anonymous, was created this year, has no product and utility, yet he still chose to show it to his millions of followers at his peak. Well, here's the thing. like This is just proof that a lot of times these rich, powerful people don't really know what they're actually talking about. Now, this guy suspects that it's not all as he says. I actually think Mark Cuban did actually... Um, I think Mark Cuban did actually get rug pulled because I'm pretty sure like for a lot of these things, like Mark Cuban doesn't really understand like, you know, proof of, proof of work, proof of stake, as he said earlier. So he, he's not all that knowledgeable in cryptocurrency. People just think he is because he has billions of dollars and he is into the tech space. I mean, he did make his richest selling broadcast.com. So, but the thing, and his net worth has gone up considerably in the last few months or last few years. But the thing is... Um, a couple million dollars to Mark Cuban is nothing. He has billions of dollars. That's like literally one-tenth of one percent of his money. So it's not a big deal to him, but it might be a big deal to you if you actually do this. So you should not listen to these celebrities. And like, you know, like following stuff, people like Kim Kardashian, Floyd Mayweather for crypto advice is even dumber because, you know, like Floyd has, I think Floyd has shilled other coins before that haven't done so well. So this whole Ethereum Max thing, yeah, I don't think so. So uh, it's very, very bad idea to, to trust any of those, these, uh, these big, I mean, like if you don't trust like the crypto personalities on YouTube, which you honestly shouldn't, and uh, you should always do your own research, like it's, trusting these celebrities who are not really that much into the crypto space, probably don't do that much research into the crypto space as evidenced by the Titan rug pull on Mark Cuban um, is probably even dumber because they might actually just FOMO into like the most, like the most popular thing, which I do think like Cuban does tend to do at times because like only a small, a very small portion of his wealth is actually like in these little small uh, investment projects. And the thing is like with these projects, like as, as long as one in 10 or one in 20 work out, he's perfectly fine. And Mark Cuban knows that like in terms of the big picture, he might know like the big picture investment strategy, but he doesn't know like the specific cryptos all that well. So if he shows something, it doesn't mean it's that good. If he buys something, it doesn't necessarily mean it's that good. If he invests in a project that's already pretty good, then it's probably pretty good because that just gets more funding from Mark Cuban and Mark uh, more PR. But the thing is, like, we shouldn't trust these crypto or investing personalities, even if they're good, even if they are from like the traditional financial markets, um, or if they're you know like one of the richest people in the world. They still make a lot of mistakes. Like, I know a lot of you are obsessed with the, the idea of elites running everything and controlling the future. They honestly don't because. You know, they've been wrong about crypto time and time and time again. Despite how much central banks want to shut down cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, it's still marching forward. Despite how much the Fed is anti-crypto, how much Donald Trump is anti-crypto, how much like a lot of these senators are anti-crypto, a lot of these elites are anti-crypto, it's still marching forward. Um, and it's, they're not going to be able to stop it. So a lot of times, these so-called elites, things don't actually go their way. And you will see that all throughout history. I know there's like all kinds of these crappy conspiracy theories about how they're behind everything. And like, even though if it doesn't seem to work out for them, it works out for them. That's not always true. There have been several falls from grace for, uh, from, for rich families, for noble families in history. And history has shown it doesn't always go their way. Sometimes things work the opposite way. So the thing is, like, it's not always smart to trust these elites. Like, basically, like, look at what the rich people are investing in. A lot of times it doesn't actually pan out as well, especially in a new market where they're not all that informed about the actual products. So that's what I have to say for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.